Hi, I'm PGA Golf Professional Brian Hawes, here for the tee tournament, sponsored by the VA and the DAV. Today we're going to cover the long game, so the top end of your golf bag. We're going to cover how you hit your driver compared to how you hit your fairway woods and hybrid. One of the big issues that I see in players is that they treat their driver and their fairway woods exactly the same way, and they're really completely different from each other. The driver we want to hit in an upward motion, so when, when the ball is sitting up on a tee, we want to swing up at the ball and get the, get the ball in an upward swing. That keeps the spin low and allows the driver to, to create shots that are going to be more, more straight and direct toward the target. When you hit down at a driver, you create more spin, which creates more movement in the golf ball left and right. When we get to our fairway woods, we want to treat those a little bit more like our irons. We want to hit down at those. We need the ball to climb up the face. It's not sitting on a tee. So it's very important that we, we get into a downward motion with that club and, uh, and we treat it a little bit more like an iron. Um, so when we're teeing up a driver, the big thing that we want to look for is that uh, we're getting the ball halfway above the club head. So what I didn't do is put a ball in my hand. Let me pull one out here. So as we're teeing up that ball, we want to make sure that that ball is getting halfway above that club head in the, in the tee up position. That allows us that the, the position of the club to come up and hit upward at the ball. In, in the sense of an iron or, or a fairway wood, that ball is sitting on the ground. So if we hit up at a ball that's sitting on the ground, that ball is going to roll downward. We need to hit downward on the ball, which makes the ball climb up the face of the club. And that is the biggest difference between a fairway wood and a driver. So a lot of players are always asking, how do I hit my driver farther? Most players have the capability to hit the ball farther than they currently do, and it's typically by length of swing. So if a, if a player gets his driver into, into a good position, in a, in a current position, if they maintain that same speed but carry the driver length as long as they possibly can, the farther you take that club head, the farther the ball will go. So if your driver is currently stopping in, in a 45 degree position and we move the club head to a parallel position, you will gain speed. That's consistent with every club in your bag. But mostly players are asking about how do I hit my driver farther? That's a great way to get started. So the driver and, and getting back to swinging up at a driver as opposed to down at a driver, you can see I have the, the ball teed halfway above my club head. And in this case, we want to make sure that we get our body in a good tilted position so that we can give ourselves an opportunity to swing up at the ball. Um, because the ball sits on a tee, that is our, the best benefit we can have. So again, it's a game of physics, and we want to make sure that we're using the physics to our advantage. The more I swing up at this ball that's sitting on a tee, the less spin I'll get, so the less curvature of the ball I will get. So in that case, I'm going to get that ball halfway above my club head, I'm going to get my body tilted back to the, to the right side just a little bit so that I can get myself in a position to where my club is going to swing upward toward the ball. So get myself set, find my target, get myself tilted, and then go ahead and swing up through the ball. And that's how a driver should be hit. The fairway wood, on the other hand, is, is, more play, is played more like an iron. It is a downward motion that makes the ball climb up. So now we want to get ourselves into a strong position to where we're going to mean, get to our left and lean to our left a little bit through impact. So taking a small divot or a brush of the turf is an important aspect of hitting your fairway wood. So a lot of players, as our speeds get slower, a three wood is very difficult to hit. So it takes a little bit more high speed to hit a three wood that's in that 15 degree range of loft, so a lot of players will need a little bit more loft. So it's okay that you play with a, call it a four wood or a five wood when we're getting to more 17, 18, 19, or 20 degrees of loft. Everything in those loft categories, including a hybrid, all need to be hit down at so that the ball will climb up the face. So unlike a driver, we want to make sure we get our body to the left a little bit and stand very neutral. Get the ball just barely forward of center, so not too far forward so that we don't hit on top of it. We don't want the ball to go down into the ground. So we're going to get into a strong position, hold that position to our left, and we want the club to come downward and through the ball in that position. So
So again, the, the driver's gonna be an upswing and your fairway woods are all gonna be a downward swing.